Okay, my dears, I'm back. <clears throat> I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but, you know, with uh, so many steps, I have to stop because, obviously, I don't want to utilize my recording time while I'm doing something that is just repetitive. Um, right now, I'm mixing my new batch of um, my molding paste, homemade, because I completely uh, ran out. And it really lasts a long time, believe it or not. Slips. So no, we're not at a bakery. Sorry. Um, I gave you the recipe before, but I'll give it to you again for the new ones that are watching this video. It is one part cornstarch, one part of white paint, acid-free, obviously. All these ingredients should be acid-free. Um, and half a part of white glue. That's what I utilize. And it may look like it's really dry. Well, oh, it's not going to work for you. It has to be that way. Um, I've done the mistake of thinking that, um, oh, that's just too thick. Let me add a little bit of water or something to it, and I always ruined it. I mean, you, just, you can just put more stuff on it, but don't do what I did because just says it doesn't pay. Um, it has to be this thick and um, otherwise it will take forever to dry and it doesn't hold the, um, the shape of whatever is it that you're trying to utilize this paste for. Obviously we want to do a 3D item and that's the reason why we're adding this. Um, so when you when you put, to, you know, when you change that those measurements yeah, it's just not going to work. I mean, you can always redo it and stuff, but... And I did not put all the glue on this because um, I wasn't sure on my on my true measurements there. But I always, you know, can go back with the glue a little bit. Because I'm doing a bigger a bigger pot. Because I, I do use it a lot. But this is probably too much for any one of you that is, you know, if you don't, if you don't do a lot mixed media stuff, then... It's probably not a good idea to make that much. Although, you know, the last one that I made, that's when I made my, um, the, um, the altar bottle, when I gave you the, the recipe for it. And I just finished with that bottle, and I made half, and this is going to be about half, too. It just looks like it's fuller, but it's not. It's just got to be very well mixed. And, um, because, see, you, you can see the corn, the, see the powder right there, or the cornstarch? But it's really <laughs> thick, so it almost hurts your hand to um to mix it so like i said i'm just giving you a recipe you know that i learned from somebody else too and um i do it because i just think it's honestly a crime to buy it for 10 bucks four ounces which is like so little of this and obviously that's the reason why but i try to do as much things as i can because let's face it i already spend a lot of money in this industry and as all of you do, I'm sure. We're all guilty of the same sin. So, um, <laughs> so that's the reason. So anyhow, that's why I have you watch this a little bit. So you can kind of have an idea of how thick this is. I mean, like, and I, when I mean thick, it's just, look, it's just really, really thick. It has a little bit of powder on the bottom, not too, too much to worry. I'm not even going to finagle with it because I really want to create this pattern. Okay, so I'll leave it at that, and I'm going to cover it, and I'll probably mix it again later on, but it, it's pretty much done. Let me put this fork on, in water, or else you're going to have, you're going to have a hand up with a fork that, that uh, you have to throw away. All right, so what a mess I have in here. Okay, so I want to create some... With my molding paste, I want to create some um, some patterns around here and probably on the top. Um, I haven't figured out exactly what yet, but I wanted to emboss the image first because you know I'm going to be making a lot of mess with this with this paste, uh, and I want to actually you know bother the image. So with this, this way the, the image is protected and it can always be remelted to be fixed for whatever reason. 
Now, when I painted this, you know, I wasn't sure that, and, and I did it, but you don't have to, okay? You can bypass that, that, um, that step. That's because I was still in the mode of, what am I going to do? I don't know. I did something, didn't like it, so I'm redoing it again. But at this point, that you could have had a, uh, you know, a fresh canvas, and if you wanted to paint up, uh, you know, a background, fine. And but for the, for the altar, uh, or the three D, you know, some embellishments that, that I'm going to be doing. Um, at this point, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's this way or not, because I'm sure once we do the painting with colors and different variations of, of shades. It's not gonna look like this anyhow. So, all right. Well, let's get let's get on with it. I'm gonna clean my area because I'm going to be doing some stenciling, and um, I need space. So, see you in a bit. Okay, my friends. <clears throat> I have. I fi I figured out some of the stencils that I will be using. I'm um, using. I got this once. I think it. Um, I think at Michael's, this is, uh, you know, a very, very long time ago. Um, and I'm going to be using this pattern because it's kind of hard to see it on the... You can kind of see it right there. But it's, it's this one right here in the corner, right there. That's the one I'm going to be using first. And then we'll go, we'll go on from there. So you see me that I already mixed my... You, you saw me mix it, so I am just going to... Um, position this one in the corner and I want to make sure I'm in frame for you guys there All right and I don't want to touch her hat right there my hat but I want to get you know, to the edge as much as possible without being out of um, without it you know looking so out of place right there all right so here goes nothing and it's really thick, okay? And it's getting late for me, so I know I'm going to call it in. But because it's late, I want to make sure I did the stenciling before. Before I went to bed because, well, you know, I didn't want to. I want, I want this to be completely dry. Um, these are not the best stencils, so I don't really recommend them. I mean, they have cute shapes and everything. But let me tell you, they are so thin. I almost think that the ones, well, you know, I think this one's they make them basically for, um, yeah, see, I already ruined that one, for painting. They don't really do it for, you know, for this type of goo or whatever. And and I think my, um, my paste is thick too, but I wanted it thick that way too, so that gives it kind of a better effect. And I'm using that, um, the Cricut, um, squeegee or whatever you want to call that spatula just because it works really well for me that way all right so I'm gonna see how that goes just remember if it doesn't look good we can redo it oh I think I like it I like it very much because it's quite thick let me see if it works I almost broke my tiles okay, I'm gonna put it right next to you so you guys can see the thickness right there you see it's pretty thick that's what I wanted you guys to see. That when it's painted, it's gonna look awesome. So let me put this aside and I gotta take the I gotta clean this puppy up so I can go put it in water because I'm not gonna wash it right now. I'm just too tired. But there's a lot of paste in here. I'm not gonna be so vigorous because it is um, just kind of delicate. Alright. Pardon my, my hands, you guys, but I don't have time to go wash them every sec every two seconds. All right. I really like that stencil there, and I, I like the thickness of it. I really do. All right, so I was thinking I just got that one. I just got the bricks, you know, the, the wall of bricks. So I was thinking of doing, I wanted to do like a roll of bricks on the edge here. And kind of continue off off center from each other right here, like it's a wall. So we'll see. We'll do it that way, and I'll see in the morning how it dried and see how I like it. And if I don't like it, well, I'll change my mind and do something else. I'm doing this from scratch in front of you guys, so so you guys don't think I'm this big planner person. Ooh, I'm not. 
I don't want to really touch where she's at the edge of the image because there is a lot uh, there's a lot of goo it's still there from the you know the the UT and obviously we're going to have to remelt it you know all right so I like that oh very nice very nice and this can be wiped off right here really easily and it's all going to be painted so it doesn't really matter where we are at all right Let me get my piece of paper here sorry for that noise it was my last uh, my last um, paper towels have to get good some more all right let's continue and you know what Yeah, I think I'm going to I'm going to do this ones right here just because this is so fresh. Let me see if I I don't want to ruin them. That's the thing. But you know what? I think no, I think I can do that. Do I? Do I dare? Nah, I'm gonna go this other side. I feel more comfortable that way. Okay, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six layers. All right, so there it is. I like that this thing turned out really thick. I really do like it. I don't. I didn't think I put enough of the glue on it, and I thought, oh, you know, because I was just winging it, I was eyeballing it. I do a lot of things like that, and. May not be the best choice always. But you know, heck, this can be corrected. Okay. I need to do that. And then I'm gonna do the ones on the on the side. Sorry you guys, my uh again my battery went dead. You know, I really do like this camera, but dang the batteries do not last anything. It's just I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. I am technologically challenged, what can I say? Alright, so this is becoming really messy, right? You can you can see that already. Alright, so what I'm going to do with this, some, so I'm going to do like, I don't know, four or five, a row of five that is um, here. On the edge, can you see? Oh, I touched the other ones. And then ones are a little bit more inside. I know that's a crazy idea, but I wanted that off center. Can you see that? Don't worry about that middle part. I can, I can fake it. I can uh, make a break with my hand, I think. And then this one, just kind of tiny, tiny, mini little thing. Yeah, I like that. Because remember, this is um, this is gonna be so distressed, vintagey, and I am going to put a, a th um. Um, steampunk flare to it. So I don't even have a name for this. Yet. Who cares? Okay. I'm just trying to save whatever is in the edge. You see, I destroyed this brick over here, but that's okay. We can always fix that later. Okay, so this is where we are at, okay? You can see the bricks. Like it's, you know, a wall that is not completely finished well that's how you're gonna do that um, but I think I want to do one more over here all right and that's the last one of the bricks yes okay and definitely I have to go wash my hands now because this is bad and sticky but I love the paste love it it works really well okay my friends we're going to call it off at least I'm gonna call it off for tonight it's not gonna it's not, it'll it won't take any time for you because it'll be a, just a continuation but I uh, just want to let you know that see what other crazy ideas I get overnight but I think it's already you know getting there um, I wish you can see a little better see right there it may not look that great in there, but in person it looks really good. <laughs> so anyhow, this is where we are so far. And then we're going to...
keep from working on that probably tomorrow. Okay, my friends, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello, my friends, again, this is Gladys <clears throat> coming back so we can continue with where I left off yesterday. Uh, to you guys, it's only a few seconds, but I had to have a whole Sunday for myself. I had to recoup for, um, um, I don't know, a bunch of stuff that I've been working on and just been really busy. So, I have been a little tired and I decided to, you know, take this opportunity for myself and um, I slept in very late and I felt really good and my husband was very kind to me so and uh, took care of the kids gave them breakfast and the whole thing so all right so let's get back to our canvas um it dried overnight really really nice i like the effect of the paste and i'll talk to you about that in a little bit um and so i kind of decided to go and use a little bit more. Uh, I like the, you know, how it worked on the canvas and it just, just felt good. So that's the reason why I'm coming back to kind of do some other details on it. All right, so let's set. Let me get some paper in here. And I guess I don't have any. All right. So now what I'm doing is using one that has more, um, it is this pattern right here, right right there. So it's more of like flourishes and um, leaves, lots of leaves. So there is the pattern. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like it a lot. So, so I decided to do like a cascade over here of uh, flowers. This dried up really nice and hard. Um, so now I'm going to continue with a brick over here. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it yet. But I know I want to continue with that. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and probably... Oh, let's see. Probably do another one here. Because I want kind of this cascading here. But I'm going to leave that space in there alone for a little bit. I'm not even sure if I want to go there. Uh, do I want to go here? Hmm, it's kind of pretty in there. Because I think I have, we have enough brick, I think, anyways. And if we don't like it, we can always remove it. All right, so I think I'm going to do that. So now let's get some more paste. And see how this works in here. And I'm going to do it so that, so the end of the brick is just right there. All right. I kind of like this right there. All right. Let's see how this, you know, how this looks once, once it's done. I'm going to have to, sorry, my hand is in the way there, but the way this is positioned, I kind of have to do it that way, and then I'll show it to you in a little bit. And I am layering it pretty, I'd say pretty, I'm being pretty, um, I'm not being cheap about it, so being pretty generous on the amount that I'm layering because I want those to be kind of fat yeah I like that a lot all right so now I gotta clean up all that extra texture um, bland or that takes my texture um, mixture all right I think that's very pretty what do, you, what do you guys think look at this at the bottom isn't that pretty I think it is. All right, so we're there with the with the decoration. I gotta clean up this um, stencil, and um, and see what else we're going to do. But I'm gonna leave the paste alone for a second. I'm going to close it so it doesn't dry anymore, and I'll be right back. I gotta go put this in water. Okay. Hi, friends. Back again. I have um, waited for this to dry, and it's all dried. Before I left, I think we created this, the flourishes, and they're completely dry. Feels very good. And then I created this um, little tiles right here that 
I kind of had an idea because, you know, the 